Hi there! Hi. I'm Jeremy and this is the Not So Berry Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have 10 generations of Sims, each themed after a different color. We are now on the Rose Generation. This is officially the first episode of the Rose Generation. Here is the Rose Generation's description and requirements. You had everything you desired as a child, but you were always longing for more. As an adult, you have a hard time committing to relationships as you're so focused on your career. If we had a workaholic trait in The Sims 4, you would have it. You have absolutely no parental instincts whatsoever, but you still love your child with all your heart. Your traits are hot-headed, snob, and romantic, your aspiration is serial romantic, and your career is politician. The rules are that you must have only one child, master the politician career, and complete the serial romantic aspiration, master the charisma skill, leave someone at the altar, and get married for the first time as an elder. It's 5 a.m. Let's start waking some people up. Let's start with Listerina. She can wake up. So she's going to come down here and play some chess. Rusty needs to wake up and he can come practice typing. Let's have Kay wake up and get some breakfast. And we'll let Robin sleep in a little bit longer. Arturo can go ahead and wake up. Let's have him clean himself as well. All right, Robin, it's time to wake up. Oh, and Rusty reached the next level of his aspiration. Robin's on his way to get some food, getting himself some uh, leftover eggs and toast. And you know what? I think we're gonna have Robin go ahead and get on Social Bunny. Let's add some contacts. All of the high school kids. There we go. And I, I feel like he would not add his parents on social media. That just, that just isn't him. Also, let's send a message to Cyrus. Message to Ramia being flirty. To Cyrus, we said, you have to update me on your life soon. And to Ramia, want to go to the ice cream stand? I'd like a scoop of you. Listerina, why don't you get yourself some food? Looks like you're getting hungry now. And it's time to send Robin to school. I installed a mod that should keep the students from wearing the those club t-shirts and instead they should wear their everyday outfits oh yeah okay perfect it did work uh here's a student we haven't met yet Gwendolyn McKinney let's introduce ourselves to her what do you think of Gwendolyn do you think she's attractive oh he does he thinks Gwendolyn is very attractive oh it's Ramia Ramia walking up while I'm talking to a girl <gasps> and Ramia is inviting me to go to prom but only as friends you know what we'll do it oh and now Ramia walks off Okay, let's introduce ourselves to Samuel Bighorn Jones. Okay, let's add these two on Social Bunny. All right, well, it's time for class. I love that I can actually see everyone's outfits now. And also, I like how we got completely different students today than we got last time. So the students in this class with us, Mallory Allen, Shadow Heart, Ramia, Ramona Lisa Canmore, and Gwendolyn McKinney. Kick me. It's almost like grade school all over again. At some point during class, some of the rougher classmates silently put a kick me sign on the back of a fellow student. Robin would tell the classmate discreetly, I think. He got a sentiment with Gwendolyn McKinney from that. Was Gwendolyn the student who had the sign attached to their back? Closer from happy memories? Oh my god. Robin. Getting sentiments with girls in class when Ramia is right here. Class is over. You know what we haven't done? We haven't gotten an, a locker for Robin yet. Let's, uh, let's come over here to this locker. Let's claim it. Also, I want to ask Ramia to prom as an actual date. I don't just want it to be as friends. Leave a note in her locker. Decorate our locker. Yeah, I like that. Oh, wait, no, it's career day. Okay, travel to the auditorium for career day. All right, let's do it. Who is that giving the presentation? That's Lilith Pleasant. What what career is this? Is this... She looks like an athlete. And then let's go talk to Chucky Lawrence. Wasn't he just a student the other day? Ask for details about career. Chucky, I thought you were a classmate. He must have graduated. Oh, is this the criminal career? Oh, it's best Sterling. <laughs> Discuss future with your teacher. Is this the teacher? Yeah. Ramia said yes to my promposal note. Oh, very good. Ramia, we're going to prom together on Saturday. Oh, they can have their first kiss. Oh, I think we'll save it for prom. And it looks like career day is over. Everybody's leaving. Is Ramia gonna leave? We're gonna kiss her hand. We're not gonna go quite to first kiss yet, but I think we'll do a first kiss at prom. Oh, is she getting tired? She's trying to leave, but I wanna I wanna ask her to be my girlfriend. Okay, there it is. Ask to be girlfriend. Okay. Okay, there we go. Ramia just became Robin's girlfriend. All right, let's go home now. Robin, why don't you go get yourself something to eat? And while you're doing that, let's discuss your future. You see, Robin, you don't know this yet, but you're gay. And unfortunately for you, you're not going to figure that out until you're an adult. We're going to have you date girls when you're a teenager, but you have a strong preference for men and you just don't know it yet. So enjoy prom with Ramia. And Ramia's calling to ask Robin out on a date. You know what? This is perfect. Let's go on that date. Interesting, though 
though that we went on a date to a bar. Okay, let's have a root beer float. This date's going really well. Emerson just sent me a text message too. I heard you and Ramia are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly, you're a good person to know. Yes, I am. And then why don't you and Ramia do your homework together? Because you haven't done your homework yet. It's a great way to spend a date, right? Doing homework. All right, well, we completed a date. Date number one is under your belt. All right, it's about time for you to go home too. So after you're done with your homework, go home. Looks like Robin needs to have a little bit of fun before he goes to bed. Um, why don't we have him come work out for a little bit? Just maybe practice punching and then he can go to bed after that. Rusty, you need to do your homework before you go to bed. Listerina, you can come play chess. Kay has decided to cook something. What are you cooking? Are you cooking meat? Your wife is a vegetarian. Arturo is giving some attention to peppermint. Um, Listerina here, why don't you read your mischief book? Robin, are you enjoying your workout? All right, Robin, you can go to bed now. Kay and Listerina, what, what happened with their relationship? Something went wrong with Listerina and Kay. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I think an NPC flirted with Listerina and it ruined their relationship. I guess let's try to repair it. Just queue up a bunch of romantic interactions between these two. Oh, <laughs> Rusty just saw them kissing. And then we're going to have Listerina and Kay woohoo. They're rekindling that spark now. There we go. Everyone's gone to bed. Let's start waking people up now. It's 6.30 a.m. Robin, go get yourself some leftovers. Rusty, let's have you come play on the monkey bars. Listerina, why don't you get up and eat something? Arturo, you can wake up and groom yourself. And we're not going to follow Robin to school today because I want to follow Listerina to work one more time. So bye, Robin. Have a good day at school. I think exams are today. Kay, you can go ahead and wake up. Uh, have yourself some applesauce, Kay. Arturo's going to work. Listerina's sitting out here with her husband. Rusty is the class all-star today, and he gets to be interviewed by his entire class. He's feeling nervous and kind of excited until someone asks, how come you always get A's? Rusty would be real. And it's time to send Listerina to work. Let's do it. This is the last time we're going to follow her to work. We can upgrade the wormhole generator to travel to an alien world. Let's do that. This, this is the one and only thing I'm interested in today. All right, let's bring this down here. Boldly going where no sim has gone before. Welcome to Six Sum. And if you guys are wondering what this is right here, this is a building that I built. It's a bar and a nightclub. I guess let's go ahead and start collecting stuff. Is there anything here I can collect? Dig up some minerals and some things here. I think I traveled through the wormhole generator prematurely. Usually there's like work tasks that it'll have you do on Six Sum. And it's not having me do that. Well, okay, let's do some of these other things that we need to do then. Hey, Janet, I made some synthetic food. Are you willing to try it for me? She's like, yep, sure, down the hatch. We'll put everyone in their party wear today. Hey, Derek is calling. Wanted to ask if I should get to know Ty15 a little better. They seem like good company. You should go for it, Derek. Ooh, we can upgrade the sim ray to transform sim. Arturo was promoted to an engineering intern. Good for him. Let's uh transform a coworker's appearance. We're gonna transform Arturo appearance again. Let's do it. Let's transform Archer. Oh, it changed his skin tone. Let's ask Ryland here to cloud gaze with us. You want to cloud gaze for the last 20 minutes of the workday? Whatever, Ryland. Oh, Robin, your friend Brody is here. Oh, Brody is a young adult now. He's not a teenager anymore. Listerina, why don't you go work on your mischief skill? Rusty needs to use the toilet. Robin, how's Brody doing? They don't really have good compatibility. Let's go ahead and send Brody home. Why don't you invite Cyrus over? Listerina, it looks like you're doing good trolling the floor. Forums. K is eating popcorn. Oh, and Listerina is burned out. Go to bed. Looks like Robin is having a good time. Oh, claim to be prom royalty. Be like, I'm going to be prom king. He's like, did you hear? Robin just can't help himself though. He's looking at Cyrus here and he's thinking, wow, I just can't stop looking at you. And then he's going to, uh, ooh, he's laying some moves on him, but they're not getting a romance bar. And Robin is just going to ask him a risque question. I don't think he knows why he's asking the question, but, but he's just getting a sudden urge to ask him something like, hey, you know, have you ever thought about, you know, what it might be like? And it didn't land very well either. Okay, Robin, why don't you get on your computer and play some video games? Cyrus went to go punch that teddy bear. He's like, I thought this guy was my friend, but he's being weird. Robin is just oblivious as ever. He has no clue. Listerina and Kay have decided to go to bed. Arturo should probably go to bed soon. Get your homework done, Robin. Oh, and Cyrus has gone home. I guess, uh, uh, after punching the Blarfy, he figured he was done. All right, homework complete. Go give some attention to the cat and then you can go to bed. 
And now that everyone's asleep, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.